Hello, my name is Michael Kotze and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Everett Clinic here in Everett, Washington. And I'm going to be talking about biceps tears and slap tears. So first off, let's look at the anatomy of the biceps muscle. Now this is your arm bone right here. This is your elbow right here. And this is one of the muscle bellies of your biceps and this is the second one which is why it's called the biceps. Now, the first one turns into a tendon, and that tendon goes right up inside your shoulder joint here. This tendon is the one that's most likely to tear because it goes inside the joint, and every time you move the shoulder, it can pinch on this tendon and pull on this tendon and cause damage. This tendon here never goes inside the joint. It stays outside, and it's well protected outside the joint, and it almost never tears. So when this tendon on the other side here does tear, it can come off here and it'll pull down this way here. And some people can have a little what we call a Popeye deformity of that muscle uh, where it looks uh, really enlarged right here. But this bicep still works because the majority of the muscle is still attached up here with this tendon right here. Okay, so let's take a look more closely at this tendon because this is the one that we're most concerned with in terms of uh, a pain generator inside the shoulder. So first off, if uh, you do get pain from that tendon, the most common site of pain is in the front of your shoulder uh, and it can be made worse whenever you're moving your biceps, but it also can be made worse whenever you're moving the shoulder because that biceps tendon goes inside the shoulder joint. Now, if we look a little more closely uh, at uh, the bones here, I can show you this is where that biceps tendon will go right up inside this little groove here, and then it goes inside the joint right about here, and it attaches at the top of the cup. Now, this is the cup of the shoulder joint right here. And I'll show you this picture comes right up here like this. And this portion from about here all the way into here is inside the joint. And when your shoulder moves multiple times, this tendon can become inflamed, it can become degenerated, and sometimes what happens is it gets thickened because it takes on fluid when those tendon fibers start to deorganize and or get disorganized here. And when it gets thickened, this tendon doesn't glide nice and smoothly, and it can be a source of pain. The other source of pain is right here, where the biceps attaches to the labrum. And I'm going to draw a little uh, better picture of that uh, over here, so we can see what that is here. So here is a picture of the cup, which is that small thing right here. And the labrum is that ring of tissue that comes all the way around here. And right up here at the top is where that biceps tendon comes in. And this is the top of the labrum, or what is called the superior labrum. So if you have a tear of this labrum right here, this is what we call a slap tear, because it, the superior labrum and the A and the P in SLAP stands for anterior and posterior. So it's just a little fancy acronym there for a tear of the labrum here. And this occurs when forces of the biceps pull up like this, and they pull this off of the bone, which is right here. So it pulls that labrum. Here, let's see if we can just say this is the labrum right here, this ring of tissue. right there, and it pulls it up. And sometimes these tears can get really bad. They can come all the way up like this. Sometimes they can propagate right up into the tendon right in here. Um, and so these tears can be painful, especially uh, when you're doing repetitive activity in the shoulder. Now, the most common people who have this uh, is a baseball pitcher, because pitchers uh, put a lot of stress uh, on their shoulders. But you can imagine anyone that does any kind of throwing or heavy lifting activity uh, can get a tear of that labrum here. But this is why slap tears and biceps tears are so closely related, because it's the biceps uh, tendon that attaches right to where that slap tear is. 
Now, treatment options for this, if you leave this tear in place, it's not like that's going to cause any harm. It's just a generator of pain. So the goal is to get rid of your pain. And you can get rid of the pain just like any other shoulder pain. You can take pain meds. Uh, you can try therapy. Uh, and just by giving this time and just by moderating your activity, um, PT, which is therapy, um, this can calm down, become less inflamed, and not cause so much pain. And in fact, 90% of pitchers who are pitching high-level baseball, like major and minor leagues, have a slap tear, but they don't have pain. So just because you have a slap tear doesn't mean you have to have some sort of surgery to fix this. Now, if you've tried therapy, you've tried PT, you've tried even uh, an injection uh, in this shoulder, and none of that has worked, then surgery can be considered as a last resort. And surgery uh, can uh, help take away this pain here by two things. One, if you're a young person and this has a good potential to heal, you can put stitches around this thing here and pull this back down to the bone here and get it to heal. And I can get that to heal. Uh, but most people, honestly, uh, when you try and fix these, they don't heal very well because there's not a good blood supply to this area. So one of the treatments to remove it as a generator of pain is to cut this biceps right here and take out this portion of the tendon. And then that way there's nothing pulling up on this labrum and causing pain. And then what do you do with that biceps? Well, if you take out this portion of the biceps right here that's inside the joint, and then you take this biceps right here, this, the end of this, and you reattach it right here in this little groove. You can attach it here. Some surgeons like to attach it down here. Uh, either way, you can attach it to the bone right here. And then that way, that biceps can still function normally, but it's not inside the joint causing pain every time you rotate that shoulder. And this surgery uh, is successful you know, between 70 and 80% of the time. Uh, but it doesn't work all the time, and that's why I like to uh, use other treatment options such as physical therapy or injections before uh, jumping to surgery for this, these problems. Now, the most important thing to understand is uh, you have to be able to make this diagnosis because there's multiple other things in your shoulder um, that can cause pain that are right next to this biceps tendon, like bone spurs here, there's a big bursa, around here and that bursa can be inflamed so you can have bursitis and there's also your rotator cuff tendons that come over here so if your rotator cuff is diseased and causing pain here it's right next to that biceps uh, and it can cause similar pain in the front of your shoulder or the side of your shoulder here and so it takes an experienced clinician uh, to examine the shoulder and evaluate the imaging studies to determine really which structures are the source of your pain